Welcome back to Minecraft Getting to the End. This is installment number 30, and today we're going to go and collect the dragon egg. Now, we already killed the ender dragon a few episodes ago, and uh, um, all we have to do is go ahead and grab the egg from the end, um, but it is, uh, you know, kind of a special thing. Um, we should be able to grab it with a silk tuck touch pickaxe, which I just happen to have, um, but you don't actually need enchanted tools. Um, we we can craft a piston and uh, that will allow us to push the uh, egg off of its perch without um, causing the normal problems uh, that we usually see with collecting that. Um, if you just try and harvest it with a regular pickaxe, I think it, en it ends up flying away to an unreachable location or falling into the void, something like that. I've never actually tried it myself. Um, so I just I have this piston. Um, the only other thing we need is a redstone torch as a power source in order to turn it on. Although I suppose you could use like a button or a switch plate or anything like that. But redstone torch is pretty easy. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and head on out to the fortress that we found, which is surprisingly close to our house. I don't know how that happened. And I should be able to get there before nighttime without any real problem. Hello. Oh, look at all of that. I have to go down there and harvest that eventually. Oh, look at that too. <laughs> I gotta watch out for that stuff. Now, we accomplished the two goals that I set out to, which was to kill the two bosses in the game. And uh, I have the... Um, nether star i think it's called that the wither dropped and we can use that to create a beacon and uh you know grabbing this egg i don't think the egg actually does anything but it's nice to have it and we'll build some sort of monument to it um i think i'm going to spend the rest of my time using all the goodies that i've uh accumulated um through playing on this series to build a really awesome home base type of thing um I have uh, just a ton of silk touch pickaxes. I got like four of them in a row while crafting. I don't know how I got so many, uh, but I'll use those to uh, harvest stone without turning it into cobblestone. And the stone can then be crafted into stone brick, which looks like a nice gray castle. Um, we'll see what else there is to accomplish, but that's uh, kind of what I'm looking at after this particular installment. I'm going to make sure we get our sword out just in case there's some kind of mob waiting for us down here. There shouldn't be. I lit it up and blocked off passageways, so it should be just fine. Ooh, might as well take this while we're here. Now, once again, my advice to you, when we go to the end, do not look at the Endermen. <laughs> they will ruin your day. All right, here we go. So, uh, the dragon's dead. As long as you don't look at the Enderman, you'll be just fine. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, widen our path. Oops. Not good. I looked at one of them. I'm gonna run this way and try and get up away from him. We'll see if he's chasing me or not, I don't know. But that sound is the Enderman being pissed at you sound. I don't really see, I think he would have been chasing me by now, so we're probably okay. And right up there, you probably can't see it, is the uh, dragon egg right on the top so this is the portal that gets created and the dragon egg is right up there so what we're gonna do is uh, build a little bridge to get out there and I'm gonna go ahead and um, build a platform all the way around this bedrock I don't think there's any way without mods or something to harvest bedrock um, 
but you can look that up if you're wondering. So now we can just take the piston and I, I think put it right here would be fine and get our redstone torch. There it is. And we picked it up. Whew, it almost fell into the portal. I don't know what would happen if it did fall in the portal, fall in the portal, but rather avoid that if possible. And we'll pick up our piston again. I think we got it. We sure did. Ooh, dragon egg. All right. And then back to our spawn point, which should be the bed by way of the poem, which I'll press escape to get out of. Oh no! I seem to have crashed Minecraft. <laughs> Let's see uh, what we can do to get that back. So I did uh, have Minecraft crash, but uh, when I logged back in and went to play the game, it just put me at the poem again. I pressed escape and I uh, woke up um, here in my bed over in my underground lair. And uh, as you can see, I have safely stowed away my dragon egg and it's right alongside my nether star uh, that's it for this episode of harvesting the dragon egg uh, a little bit anticlimactic but uh, join me for the following series of posts because i'm going to make a respectable base a really nicely designed house hopefully i'll be using this nether star to create a beacon and uh, doing all sorts of fun things that we didn't do on our main push to kill the two bosses that's it for this installment thanks for watching